Hey, it's Steve Hansen here with the janitorialstore.com and myhousecleanbiz.com. So yeah, I want to do a video uh, about uh, getting the right information when you're trying to price an account. On my whiteboard here, what I have is uh, I have some numbers, and I know this type of video is really boring when you start talking about numbers, but it's really important for us to understand our numbers and to understand how we're getting them. So that's why I'm going to do this here, uh, this video. And um, I had a discussion with a person uh, on our chat, in fact. Uh, you know, if you go to our website, we've got a, we've got a chat feature. Uh, this person here uh, got on the chat and they were asking me about what I had priced a 37,000 square foot building that's being cleaned three days a week. How much would I price that for? So, you know, I asked a few questions and um, I... I uh, determined that, uh, okay, this must just be a general clean. In fact, I asked the person that, is this a general clean? They said yes. So I thought, okay, well, in a general clean, we're going to clean bathrooms, we're going to vacuum dust um, and mop, and, you know, do all the, the general cleaning that we do. Um, so I went ahead and I, de I decided to go ahead and price it out that way. And that's this is my, my pricing here on this side. So what I ended up with is I ended up with uh, $290 per clean for the 37,000 square feet, three days per week. My estimated time was 11.56 hours per clean. My production rate was 3,200 square feet per hour. So pretty straightforward stuff. Because it's a three day per week service, I'm gonna have 13 services for the month. So when I multiply 13 services by the 290, I would bill them $3,775 per month. Pretty straightforward, okay? Now when you do the math, you're going to figure out that that's going to be $25 per hour or $0.10 cents a square foot. So that's all good. Now on this side, this here was the, the person that I was having the conversation with. They told me that they were billing $180 uh, per clean. It was going to take them 6 hours per clean. Their production rate was 6,167 square feet per hour. So it's a lot of square footage in an hour. Um, their services are going to stay the same, 13 services per month, three days per week. So uh, when we did this, uh, when we multiply the 13 services by the, three, uh, by the 180, that's $2,340 per month. Okay, pretty straightforward again. So now when we figure that out, when we do the math, we know that that's $30 per hour or six cents a square foot. So that's all fine and good, but you know, people are probably asking, well, how do we come up with such a a wide range in price and it really comes down to making sure you get all the information about the account so I continue to drill this person to get more information out of them because I knew something wasn't right as I was asking them questions I started getting uh, getting asking them questions I kept on getting these answers and I thought as soon as I seen this here you know the production rate of uh, 6,000 square feet per hour I knew something wasn't right so I knew that some things could not be getting done. Uh, so as I continued to drill them, it all came down to the scope of work. Their price that, they're, that they were going to present uh, is going to be $2,340 per month based off of their calculations. And it's also based off of their scope of work. Their scope of work is going to be limited dusting. Some areas just get trashed. Uh, no touch points are getting cleaned, uh, and you know, so that's a lot of stuff that's not getting cleaned. No wonder they can do 6,000 square feet per hour. So you have to really drill down on that on the scope of work. When you look at mine, mine again. Remember, I said that it was based off a of general clean. My scope of work is based off a of general clean. That's what my price is based off of. So I will be. I will be sweeping, mopping, dusting, cleaning restrooms. I'll be cleaning touch points. Uh, you know, I'll be doing all the things that we should be doing. That's why my price is three thousand seven hundred seventy-five dollars per per month. That's why it's going to take me eleven point five six hours per clean, because my scope of work is more detailed. Uh, the customer is getting more, but they're also paying more. So the the whole point to this video is that you have to make sure that you gather all the information. If you don't gather all the information, you may end up with a scenario like this here where you're going to price way too high 
without knowing exactly what the scope of work is. Very important. We have to know what the scope of work is to determine what our production rate might be. And one way we can do that is by having our scope of work. Now, if they don't have a scope of work, then you write one up for them. But we take our scope of work and we workload it. So we go through the task and we workload it and we know our production rates for all these different tasks that we're going to perform. By knowing that, we're going to know our total hours to clean. Okay? Uh, once we know that, then it's just a matter of using, you know, doing your calculations again and so on and so forth, and you're going to arrive at a, at a price point. So, you know, that's the big difference here. Here, I'm doing a lot more work uh, for the money that they're investing. Here, they're not getting the, as, as good a service. When you're not doing, if you're doing limited dusting and you're just trashing some areas and you're not cleaning touch points and things like that there, that will eventually show. Uh, they will probably not be happy with that type of clean. But if that's the type of clean they want and they were only looking for price, then that's what you have to do. You have to adjust your service to match the price that they're looking for. And there's nothing wrong with that because look at here, we're still making $30 per hour on this account, which is a good rate. But you have to remember that. Um, so anyway, uh, the point of this whole video is again, make sure you ask and get a lot, uh, get a lot, ask a lot of questions, and uh, get all the information you need on the account. Specifically, the scope of work. You have to understand that scope of work. Well, I hope this is helpful, everybody, because I don't want to see you underbidding on any projects, uh, because uh, you just you won't make any money at it, and you'll have to raise your prices. Uh, and then you know that's, that opens up another can of worms. So uh, definitely, you know, uh, review those that scope of work. Make sure you understand what it is that they want, and then price it accordingly to to what they want. That's it. If you like this video, go ahead and uh, click like, and uh, you know, uh, go ahead and share it. Uh, we'd appreciate it, and uh, we'll see you on the next one.